принято. Работает первый комплект курс. Курс сет один из он. So then, uh, and course modes are showing fly around and uh, lock on. Beautiful view there of the Soyuz spacecraft. As you've heard, about 200 meters out from the International Space Station and the CORS automated docking system uh, performing well. That is uh, going to be used for the approach to the International Space Station. If necessary, the crews on board the International Space Station are monitoring and ready to jump in with manual docking system if necessary. Although, based on what we see visually, we are getting close to the end of the fly around. And, uh, Vastoki, you can leave it at narrow angle. For the lens. Yeah, I understand, but I'm just uh, checking with you to see if you'd like us to switch to wide angle at some point. Two five meters. Range rate is uh, zero decimal zero seven. It's almost continuously. Uh, radial range is um, close to zero and uh, we are in station keeping station keeping enabled and station keeping we're starting to kind of maneuver a tiny bit and uh, 360 degree scan SNC has been formed which is uh, what we always see when we approach from Nader uh, because uh, we're working with a different antenna SS1. As you've heard there, the crew reporting, they are now in uh, station keeping, taking a brief pause before they all make their final approach to the International Space Station. We're about 16 minutes from the planned docking time. All of the activity is going well. The vehicle's performing well. We have a good visual on the station. Uh, basically, we're stabilizing motion now, as expected. Antenna switchings have been completed. Station keeping, final approach on the display. We haven't really gained much rate. Range is 188. Range rate 0.05. So we're basically station keeping still. And uh, enabling final approach for final approach. Do you want us to do that on time? You're going to enable final approach now from control panel. 1320. Okay, so you're going now? Yes, you're going now to enable uh, from the rendezvous display. Okay, switch to rendezvous display. 13, 16, 45. Final approach initiated. And as you've heard there, the vehicle officer reporting they uh, final have final approach has now been initiated. Final approach and final approach. And we are accelerating to close with the station. Uh, this is Ready, and we have that eliminated. Okay, so all nominal. At 50 meters, we will look at the SSWP status. And uh, Vastoki, while we are just starting to do the final approach, can you maximize the picture so it would be full screen? And on NPU on the left, could you? switch AGC mode until we actually get a better picture. Uh, but of course, in the end, uh, it needs to be as best for you as possible. Okay, copy. So then TVS. Okay, from the VS from the TV displays, so we'll try to switch between the AGC mode. In the meantime, we have a range of 127 meters. And the range rate is 0 decimal 68 meters per second. Okay, and uh, you've switched and no, no joyce? Yeah, no, this is not better. Yeah, I was talking about the 
R5 command, Mikhail. I think this is the best we can do. This is, a this is the most information you could Dramatic view from the International Space Station looking back towards the Soyuz spacecraft. We're good to go, Mikhail. The two vehicles now moving over the northern Atlantic Ocean. More details in our commentary. Maybe, you know what, why don't we just turn on the floodlight and be done with this? Okay, 92 meters, 0 decimal, 45 meters per second range rate. Uh, for me, this is a, a great view. I, I can't think of a better uh, way to see it. Uh, but perhaps for you on the TV uh, video image, you could see it better. 83 for range. As you heard there, the range 83 meters, the two vehicles traveling at about 420 kilometers above the Earth, or about 260 statute miles. Didn't make things better. Maybe it's just us. Copy, Mikhail. And on the left and pull, please um, don't forget to uh, preset the um, SSVP display uh, once we approach 50 meter mark. We're already set up to go, so we'll uh, keep monitoring the status of antenna retraction and SSVP back to initial. Zero decimal, 32 meters per second range rate, visually confirmed. Zero decimal, over there, 65 meters uh, in range, and uh, the target is now getting to be visible. Not great, but uh, we can discern it. 62 meters range, 0 decimal, 26 meters per second, go so one, two, three, four, ready. Everything's numb. As you've heard there, the crew reporting that uh, closing in at a rate of 0.26 meters per second 62 meters out from the space station, slowly closing in on the orbiting complex, everything going well. 55 meters, zero decimal, 21 meters per second. We see target, crosshairs are aligned. Everything's nominal, range is 52 meters, and standing by for antenna retraction command to be executed. Okay, so a one, two, three, and four are in Alaska. Sudan is in final approach mode. Scores in final approach. We continue to have a great visual vi visual on the station. SSO. As you can see here, some live data from the Soyuz spacecraft, 47 meters out from the International Space Station, closing in at about uh, a tenth of a meter per second. The uh, Soyuz taking a slow and deliberate approach as it makes its way to the International Space Station. And Yeah, if you look at the TV, you can barely see it, which is strange. Okay, so this is a phenomenal range is 48 meters. Range rate is 0 decimal 18. Copy. Soyuz spacecraft is actually ahead of the International Space Station and slowing to make its docking to the International Space Station. The two are just making their way over the northern Atlantic Ocean, minutes from crossing over the United Kingdom. We are about uh, less than 10 minutes from the planned docking. The floodlight is, uh, starts to be very effective uh, from this range. Yeah, that's right. It's like uh, it just started to light up the station. So um, zero decimal, 16 meters per second. Visual range matches uh, measured range. I can't see that. It's awesome.
beautiful view from the International Space Station. Looking ahead, the Soyuz spacecraft in view. The two vehicles just moments away from crossing over London. They're traveling at an altitude of about 418 kilometers above the Earth, 260 statute miles. Two vehicles closing in. Less than 50 meters separating the two vehicles and everything going well. They're using the course automated docking system on a, again on board the space station. The crew members all monitoring the activities, ready to use the manual docking mechanism if needed. The target is at the center of the field of view, a half of a degree upward of uh, the crosshair. Range is uh, 28, range rate is 0 decimal 13, everything else matches nominal profile for auto docking. Enric, you know what to do? Yes. Of course, on MCC go, but um, let me stow this book somewhere out of the way, just in case. We might need it, I don't know. Crosshairs are aligned. Uh, the roll adjustment's done. Range is 22 meters. We're breaking just a tiny bit. The range rate is uh, 0 decimal 12, 0 decimal 11, a little bit of a misalignment on the crosshairs, and a little bit of a roll. I would say, actually, kind of a big roll. Okay, and uh, this is visually, because Bazaar, we, we see it on your display. Yeah, this is visual observation. I think it will adjust itself and um, range now is 17 meters range rate decimal 13 we have great um, visibility the lighting conditions are excellent the vehicle is super stable no uh, vibrations whatsoever, very smooth motion. Uh, there is a slight misalignment on the crosshairs, however, but um, it goes back very quickly. So everything is great and stable. The vehicle is 12 meters out and traveling at 0.1 meters per second. Crosshair is uh, about a third. Truly impressive view of the Soyuz spacecraft, the International Space Station, uh, both uh, closing in for a docking about five minutes from now. As soon as uh, a little bit of a roll bias occurs, so we're good. Nine meters, range rate 0 0.1 meter per second. A little bit of a misalignment on the crosshairs, a little bit of uh, yaw bias, seven meters, a sysweb nominal, antenna retracted. As you can see now in view, the small docking target, which is right there, very close within the crosshairs on this graphic display from the Soyuz spacecraft. Less than four meters out, one-tenth of a meter per second. About half of a thickness of a crosshair in misalignment. It, so the end might adjust for it, but um, I think I would say we're good. Crosshairs aligned, no lateral of accelerations or rotations. Standing by for contact. Contact. Mechanical capture confirmed. And contact and capture confirmed. Docking confirmed for 4.27 a.m. Central Time. Everything's nominal, Moscow. We are home. We'll be standing by for the hooks and latches, but again, contact now confirmed between the two vehicles. That again occurring a little ahead of schedule at 4.27 a.m. Central Time.
to go. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Mechanical You're also seeing a live view there from the Agat Hall in Baikonur, where friends, families, and VIP members have been watching the activities. Everything going smoothly. That a very uh, impressive view of the Spo Soyuz spacecraft docking to the space station. That occurring as the vehicles were crossing over Germany at. Uh, Again, just a few moments ago, 4.27 a.m. Central Time. Six hours and 14 minutes was your ride. That's how long it was. Six and 14. Six hours and 14 minutes was the duration of the journey. Yeah, I guess I got the torch up here in six hours. 